Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today we have another two brand new diecast review here. We have Brad Keselowski's 2008 number 88 Navy car for Junior Motorsports and we have Juan Pablo Montoya's Cup Series Haveline number 42 car for Chip Ganassi Racing. Let's go ahead and get these two out of the packages. All right, so here they are both out of the packaging. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Brad Keselowski one first. And here it is out of the packaging. We'll go ahead and take a look at the card that it comes with first. I believe this was done by Sam Bass. Yep, there we go. Yeah, super, super cool art that he would make. Sad that he passed away, but yeah, definitely his art was super, super cool. It looks really sick. And it's just got some logos on the back. Yeah, really cool. Go ahead and put it to the side. And now what everyone pretty much came for, the Brad Keselowski number 88 Navy car from the NASCAR. Was this the Nationwide or the Bush Series? Let's see. Okay, at this time it was the Nationwide Series, okay. I do not know when they made the switch from the Bush Series to the Nationwide Series, so that's why I was wondering. But yeah, really, really cool looking car. It's obviously pretty plain, but I mean, for this car it works. Like, for Gen 4 cars, and I pretty much cars from the Gen 4 on back, like, if they're plain, like, if it doesn't have a paint scheme, it can still look really good, even without having a regular old paint scheme. Like, as long as you put the logos on right and have the right color combination, make sure the numbers are the right size and all that, the right colors again, yeah, definitely they can look really great. Just like this one, looking super sharp at the big navy, accelerate your life on the front right here. That navy on the sides, the black 88 looking super dope right there. At Navy.com, the Junior Motorsports logo, of course. Yeah, really, really cool to have this diecast. I only have one other diecast to compare it with, and that is another 88 Navy car. That one being one that uh, technically the driver who they made for this didn't actually race the car. And I already forgot who it was again after looking it up twice recently. But <laughs> yeah, anyways, Dale Jr. was the one who ended up actually driving this car anyways. That's what I remember. <laughs> so yeah, basically got Dale Jr. and Brad Kozlowski in the 88 Gen 4 style cars here. Looking really, really cool. Both pretty solid paint schemes, although I will give the edge over to this one. Just the combination works a lot better here than it does here. Like, this one's still not bad. This one still looks pretty cool. But I definitely like this one a lot more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Which version do you like better? Do you like this one or the other one? I'm definitely going to go ahead and stick with this one. I think this one much, much cleaner. Looking really sharp. Really, really cool. But, yeah, let's go ahead and move on over to the next diecast. And here it is. The Juan Pablo Montoya number 42 Haveline car. Looking super cool. This is my first Juan Pablo Montoya diecast in 164 form. I did actually recently get a 187 scale one of him in a cot as well. But this is my first 164 of him. And yeah, looking super cool. Obviously the Haveline schemes are always absolute bangers. Again, even though they're plain, they have the right color combination. Like the red, the black, the yellow looking super cool. Obviously it works great on the cot as well. The wing looking super sick. It is also on a Dodge as well. This is my first Dodge cot in 164 as well. Yeah, looking super sick. Love this car. And it's super cool to have a Juan Pablo Montoya diecast. Like, I mean, come on. That's like, that's why I got it, <laughs> honestly. Because I wanted a Juan Pablo Montoya one. And I found it for five bucks like that you cannot pass that up <laughs> yeah really cool to finally have one of these now looking super cool what's this say protect precious metal haveline yeah really really cool to have this looking so sick definitely a great addition to the collection and you will also probably be seeing this one in the battle of the generations as well the Brad Kozlowski one I got just because I thought it'd be cool to have one of Brad's first Xfinity cars. But yeah, this one I got specifically for the Battle of the Generation. It's going to be super cool to have him in there. We'll go ahead and show you the 187 skill cot I was talking about. 
it's the big red car. Definitely a cool looking paint scheme. Wish I could find it in 164 because yeah, I bet it would look better too on that car because you can't really see the decals all that well. It would probably look better being bigger. Uh, but yeah, still really cool to have two Juan Pablo Montoya die casts now. Really, really cool. And we'll go ahead and show you guys the other two manufacturers I have for the Cot era. We have the Ford Fusion and the Chevy Impala. And here we have the Dodge Charger now. Still missing the Toyota. I do have one in 187 scale, but I want to get a 164 one just so I can round that out. Yeah, super, super cool to have Juan Pablo Montoya added to this. Uh, just gotta make sure he doesn't run into the jet dryer in Battle of the Generations. And with that all being said, that'll be all for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy and uh-oh. Wait, jet dryers? Juan, no! <laughs>